Well, I guess we better use algebra. Isn't that the universal way to check whatever you seem to predict? So, algebra equal. What does it mean to have... Well, let's grab two planes. Why don't we take two planes? Um, can you give me coefficients, please, for the planes? Just tell me numbers. Uh, four. Four x. Minus five. I need, I need a lot of them. Minus five y. Negative seventeen. Negative seventeen? Z. Can you stay between minus 10 and 10, please? Equals? 2. 2. All right. And the second plane is? 3. 3x. Three 6. Negative 1y plus 6z equals? 8. 8. Okay, two planes. What do you think about intersection? How do you even think about intersection? Algebraic. Set them equal to each other. Set them equal to each other. How? So they set left hand side equals left hand side and the right hand side equals right hand side? No, move two to the left hand side and move eight to the left hand side and then the Okay. Well, I can move two to the left hand side easily. And eight to the left hand side easily. So that is equal to zero. Okay. And then what? Set them equal to each other. Okay, so then 4x minus 5y minus 17z minus 2 should be equal to 3x minus y plus 6z minus 8. And then I guess we simplify. Don't you want to simplify? X minus 5 plus minus 4y minus 17 minus 23z equals minus 6. So what do you get? What is that? A plane. A plane. So, two planes intersect in a plane. What does that mean, geometrically? How can two planes intersect in a plane? The if you mentioned that as a possibility, if those are the same planes, are these the same planes? People say no. That's a little discouraging. So what, what happened here? We picked two planes, we equated them, we got the equation of a plane again. So what do we do? Uh, 